What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a team with two of the best restricted mods in the game alongside with Golisopod. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers, that's a huge chunk, are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys here, so yeah, click that subscribe button. Just, just get it out the way. It only takes a second of you guys' time. But like I said, we're rocking out with two of the best restricted mods in the game right now. We got Zacian and Yvelta, alongside with a Pokemon that we don't really get to use a lot, which is going to be close to pod. So this should be fun. We're in the high ranked tiers. We're top... Uh, thousand last time i checked we were 1100 ish so we're pretty high up in the rank so we should have some good battles for today but let's get started here with today's team preview starting off with zassian over there do i even have to say anything interpret sword rusted sword obviously it's item and ability and then we got iron head play rough sacred sword and protect for this thing's amazing moveset right next to him is going to be yabelta i absolutely love yabelta but i haven't used it with this moveset right here it's got the dark aurora alongside with the life orb as item and then it's rocking oblivion wing dark pulse heat wave for coverage and protect so this yabelta right here is made for dynamax and it is made to be dynamax made to get off some big damage and get going from there. so usually we like to use the one with snarls and sucker punches but this time we're rocking out with big damage yvelta middle left is going to be our speed control pokemon which is going to be regilecki we got transistor the focus as an item and then we're rocking thunderbolt eweb screech to actually lower defense and make a pokemon like zassian or any physical attacker do some big damage and then last but not least we got that protect Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Landers over here, our Intimidate Pokemon with the White Herb as its item. We got EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, Protect, great Pokemon in most situations and really, really strong in the Dynamax. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Support Grimmsnarl with the Prankster and Iron Ball. We're rocking Iron Ball because we have Trick as one of our moves. We can swap items with the Pokemon and make that Pokemon a lot slower and more importantly, take the item away from them. We got Foul Play, Scary Face to lower speed and then we got Fake Tears to lower special defense so it can pair up wonderfully with that Yvelta. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be this off meta Glissapod with Emergency Exit, Ability, Assault Vest as an item, and then we got Leech Life for HP Recovery and Big Stab Damage, First Impression, Liquidation, and Aqua Jet for first turn priority. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. The red the code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder, look to get some wins with the Zacian, Life Orb Yabelta, and Glissapod team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a Zacian and Kiram White Life Orb team right here with Whimsicott, Indeedee, Incineroar, and Landorus. This team is top tier and top meta. Hopefully we get some counter action going here and uh, get ourselves some win in battle number one. It'd definitely be really, really cool. But uh, who should we go into? How should I lead this one? I'm looking at his team right here. He might lead to speed control with a Whimsicott. He could go Indeedee or Incineroar would be solid. And I'm thinking maybe of just straight up leading like you. And Yveltal could be pretty cool. I don't think. Let me see this thing's moves one more time. Let me see your moves. Because we could take speed control with Airstream. Or we could just scary face and kind of go from there. So I'm really liking this lead right here. Just going into you alongside with him. Really, really liking that. I am really digging that. So I'm going to go in with them too. Yvelta and Grimstarl. And I'm going to bring Zacian obviously in the back end. And then last but not least, I feel like Landorus kind of just like thrives here. Right? Landorus can be super effective onto that uh, Incineroar onto the Zacian. Just does work all around. So yeah. And then Intimidate works wonders up against a bunch of physical attackers. A bunch of them, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's a bunch of them. But let's lock this one in. Let's lock it down. And look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, before I even hop into this battle, I got a really, really important question of the day. Some guy actually left a comment on one of my videos. You know who you are. You know who you are. You're the man. You're the man. And he was giving me some constructive criticism on how I can better my channel. So, yo, let me make this question of the day. See what I can get out of you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What can I do to better my YouTube channel? I love the constructive criticism. Helps me grow as a content creator. So definitely let me know. Definitely let me know. He goes in with double intimidate, which is pretty cool. I'm chilling with that. I'm just going to Dynamax right off the rip here. Uh, Actually, do I Dynamax? I could Dynamax. I could guard. I could protect. Uh, Because I think he's going to Dynamax that Lando, obviously, right? And drop probably a rock. Probably going to drop a rock, right? In that case, my Yvelta can eat it up. My Yvelta can soak it up all day. Can definitely soak it up. So, I think I'm just going to go for an airstream into the Lando slot. Get going from there. I don't lean more towards it, right? I, go for, I could go for the fake tears. I could definitely go for the fake tears. And just dump on Lando. I'm, I'm kind of with that. If we if we can land it, we'll definitely go for it. I'm going to Dynamax. I am going to go for the airstream. We're going to try to get rolling from here. But I do think Incineroar is just going to fake out Grimstarl. Kind of get going from there. But I'm kind of hoping. Maybe he'll fake out the Yvelta. Maybe he thinks this is just like a normal Yvelta. With the sucker punch, all that good stuff, a soul fast, and he's probably just like, oh, maybe he's not. He's probably not going to die next. 
Nah, yeah, we're rocking life orb, and we're gonna try to get ripping right off the right off the rip here. But I do think he does Dynamax at Landers. I think Landers is gonna get rolling here. I think my Yvelt is gonna get rolling here, and we're gonna just get right into the meat of the battle. So I'm Dynamaxing. He actually might not, because I think Lando outspeeds. I actually did not check the about the speed stat. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked it. Maybe I should have checked it. But yeah, that's what I love about playing Sword and Shield. It's honestly so much fun when I just use like a different team every time I play. I just don't really know the stats. I just come in here and have some fun, yo. I could definitely get like higher up in the rank if I just like learned one team, but I love switching up teams. It's too much fun. And he does Dynamax Lando, so we do outspeed, which is really, really good. It's really, really good that we outspeed. I'm gonna go up plus one on the speed board, and then we can roll out from here. But I am wondering if he is gonna go for a fake out. I do wonder. I do wonder. I obviously could have tricked, but I think my play here was definitely just like you know, fake tears, drop this special defensive wall from there. So let's see what he does here. He does not. I think he may be going for a parting shot. So we're going to be able to drop that thing special defense. We're going to get from here. I can definitely trick next turn. And all oh, the thing's white herb. Are you kidding me? Just like ours, man. Just like ours, it is like, it is a uh, white herb. Airstream comes out here. We're going to do about half damage. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I can definitely airstream and finish that thing off next turn. But I think this thing probably gonna parting shot into me. Is that correct? Could definitely be correct. Let's see. Is he parting shotting? He goes for the airstream of his own. And he's gonna go after Yavelta. I'm cool with that. So we did not go for the rock ball. He's trying to look for speed here. So we know we outspeed him right now. We know we, we outspeed him. And I do think that's this Incineroar is going for parting shot. Yeah. So parting shot pokes through here. Um, what do I do from here? What does my play from here? I could definitely guard. I could guard and just uh, trick. I definitely want to trick this next pick. Take his item and come. Hmm. It's gonna be Wimscott. It could be Wimscott. Is he rocking that? Is he rocking the Wimscott? So we know Yavelta outspeeds Lando. That's really, really good for us. We are minus one though, so we might not be able to take out. Hiram's gonna come. Hiram's gonna fly out here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely trick this Pokemon. I am definitely tricking this Pokemon. And I'm going to go for. Does Airstream take it out? That's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. So we're definitely going to trick. Uh, what was Airstream's base? It was base 130. What would be better for us? Maybe just to drop the special defense? Or would we rather have speed? I mean, dropping special defense doesn't really do anything unless you belt us out on it. Really the only thing that does anything. Do we do it anyway? Or do we want speed? I mean, thinking speed won't really be a factor. If we do take it out here. But, you know, I'm going to try to take speed here. Let's see what happens here. He's going to guard. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Let's see what he does from here. Truck's going to poke here. We're going to take his item. What item are you rocking? Maybe the life orb. That could be a life orb item. Definitely be a life orb item. It is a life orb. That's beautiful. So we take his life orb. He's got the iron ball. And I wonder what he's rocking for. Maybe going for an ice move here. Breeze dry. Oh, yeah. We should be able to soak that up. Yes, sir. We love that. We love it all day. We don't love it all day. What is this? Get some freeze. Get out of my face, dude. <laughs> Get him out of here, dude. Get this fool out my face. I'm gonna chip up some damage on you. And please, yo, can you thaw out here? Can you thaw out? Look at him. Look at him. He's just frozen like this. Just, fro just frozen in the air. Wings are flapping. Everything. What you mean, dude? What do you mean? That is so whack. Uh, we're gonna hope we can thaw out here. Come on, you got this, you belta. You belta, thaw out here. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't deal with this game. Air she's gonna fly through here. We're dead now. Your belta's gone. This game's so whack, dude. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I hate this game. I really do not like this game one bit. Not one bit. The so speed's boosting. They have speed on me. Um, I'm trying to think of what I can do. I have the Zassian in the back end. And I do have the... Uh, what's the other Pokemon I brought? I can't even think of it. The Landris. Which is probably going to have to come in here. That place going to fly. Uh, yeet. Chip up some damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. That thing is Iron Ball, which is really, really good. And he doesn't have his orb. So let's see what he does. He goes for free. If you get a freeze on me... I'm done. I'm quitting the battle right here. Quitting the battle if you do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So from here, we could definitely go into Lando and save his asking for the back end. I do like that a lot. I do like that a lot. But, yo, that would have been super close. If we didn't get frozen, Landorus could possibly be dead to the airstream. I know we were minus one, so it wouldn't have done as much damage as we did. But it would have been cutting it real close. Real close. Super close. And that's why he guarded it on the first turn. Because he knew it was going to be close. And if I took him out there, it would have been GG's. He, of course, got the freeze out my face, dude. Get him out of here. Um, okay. So, from here, I could... What's that play? I could slow this guy down. I'm thinking of them. I'm thinking of just slowing you down and dropping a rock slide. 
right? Because Kirim's already slow due to the fact that it's, uh, he has the Iron Ball. So I can actually knock this thing's speed down to minus or to even now. He's plus two. He used two airstreams and a... Uh, did he use three? No. He used two airstreams and a guard. So if I can minus two, bring him back to normal, that could be good for us. Scary face going to poke here. Let's go, Lando. Outspeed him all. Outspeed him all. My Lando. Outspeed him all. Come on, big dog. All day. His his Lando outspeeds. That's cool. That's cool. Of course it does. We soak up, though. Thanks for the minus one. All day, our Lando goes. There we go. Super effective on the Kyurem. And maybe we'll make him flinch. That could be that could be good for us. That could be real good for us. And of course, he gets off the freeze dry. And that's going to take out my Lando, right? My Lando. Tough news. Okay. Um, there are way we could possibly win this. I'm trying to think. We're still definitely winnable. It's still definitely winnable. Uh, Zassian will outspeed his his Lando all day. But I think in this case, we go for a foul play into the Kyurem, take him out, and then my uh, Zassian can take out the Lando. Wait, I'm cool with that. And then we can just start scary facing, kind of going from there, because this is going to be a really good battle. He still has an Incineroar, which he might hard swap into right here, right now. And just in case he does, we're going to take out you. We're going to hit you with this. Just in case he swaps that Landorus, which I think he does do. The Incineroar, right? Yeah. So cool. We make the call here. It's going to be tough because you know all these, uh, all these, what's it called? All these Intimidates are going to come in here and do me dirty, but we still have a shot at winning this. We definitely still have a shot at winning this. He's probably just going to keep swapping, 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 fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out, blah, 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 all that good stuff into me. But Secret Sword comes out here. That's not bad damage. Not bad damage at all. Not bad damage at all. Citrus Bray is going to poke. So now he has option to either swap again with Landorus and predict the protect or fake me out. And I'm going to allow him to fake me out. I do not mind it. Or he's just going to go into Landorus after I kill his Kyurem here. Yeah, Kyurem drops out. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What's my play? What's my play? God dang, yo, this is tough, dude. I hate this game. <laughs> I really hate this game. Um, I could take someone's item if I want to and give him the orb, but actually both these guys will not. Oh, he goes into Windscope. Okay, so once the guy comes out here, well, there's got to be a way. There's always a way. There's always a way. There's always a way. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think he does fake me out here. You know what? I'm going to start. Uh, I could start scary facing. I think he's going to fake me out and go into a tailwind. So, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Let's scary face onto that as well. Because I do think he sashed. And the fake out comes out here. And he's just going to take me out with him. That's right. So tough. Gary Face says, come out here. Come on, yo. Miss your attack. We're slowing this thing down because we really don't want to deal with it at all. We slow it down. We flinch, and he goes for the Moon Blast. So, Moon Blast flies through. Going to Zassian, please? Yeah, no shot. <laughs> no shot. So, he takes me out. At least we got off a of Scary Face before we went out there. And now he can just, you know, keep on hard swap and kind of going from there. Jeans, jeans, jeans. I guess we need a crit here, right? I guess we need a crit. Unless this thing's Rock and Charm. I swear, if this thing's Rock and Charm, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. It's honestly, it's definitely still winnable. Like, I'm thinking on the positive side here. It's definitely still winnable. Just like Lando's on low health. We can take out Lando whenever. Women's caught, even if our attack's like minus four. Behemoth Blade's doing ridiculous amount of damage, and he's really not doing a lot of damage. So if we can maybe, just maybe, land a crit here, this could be great for us. But I think this thing Tailwinds takes speed control, too. Hmm. That would be his play. He's going to taunt me. That's fine. I'm attacking anyway. I'm attacking anyway. We'll take that all day. He fell for the taunt. Take a sword. Yo, crit up. Crit up here. Wait, was that not a crit? Why did it do so much damage? Wow. Hold up. Wait a minute. What do I do? Um, we have to, we just have, we just have to target this thing now. We have to take out Landers. It's our best bet. We have to take out Landers. Landers has got to go. He's going to go for Tailwind. He's going for his one shot here. How much damage are you really going to do with the CQ? How much damage are you really going to do with the CQ? Oh my God. This is cutting it so close. Yo, good thing. Ooh, who's faster? Who is faster? Who's faster? Whimsicott or... Whimsicott or what's it called? Or Zacian. He is scary face. So I, I get, I, I understand that the tailwind's up. I understand that the tailwind's up, but he is minus two. It, I think it comes down to who goes, who goes first. Unless we can eat up a moon blast. 
Let's go. Come on, Zassian. Come on, Zassian. I love you. I love you. I love you, dude. What a clutch. Yo, no way we just clutch that. No way we just clutch that. Take him out. Get him out of here. Oh my god. I'm beautiful. I'm too good. I'm way too good. And I was going to quit the battle, but I was just like, yo, saying on the positive side, we're going to win this battle. And that's exactly what we just did. There is no way my boy Zassian just clutched it up to put us in top 1,000. We are sitting at 885 rank. Let's get after it. Let's try to look for a win here in battle number two. Going up against a Zygarde and Yvelta team alongside with Confi, Grimstar, Sableye, and Incineroar. So a pretty good team on the support side. His two heavy attackers are going to obviously be the Zygarde and the Yvelta. So he's going to be leaning heavily on both those Pokemon. Definitely leaning heavily on both those Pokemon. But how should I lead this one and how should I go into it? I feel like Glissapod could be solid. Nice little solid lead. Get some Glissapod loving up in here. I'm with it all day. So we'll go Glissapod. I think we kind of want to go Yvelta or, or Regilecki. Who would I want to go here? I have Grimstrong. I could actually go into my own Grimstrong. But I'm leaning more towards you just in case he wants to lead the Confi combo. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Zacian. Do we think he leads Incineroar? I mean, if he does, he does. We'll take the Intimidate and we'll eventually swap out. I'm cool with that. We'll bring Yvelta and then... Uh, bum, 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 bum. Mm, do I go Lando? I think we're gonna go Lando. I'm liking Lando. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm with that all day. I can't believe that's asking clutch it up. That was crazy. That was crazy. I did not think it was gonna outspeed the Whimsicott, but thank God. Thank the Lord. Thank Arceus that we used uh scary face with our Grimstar before he went out. Slowed that thing down and made my sassy else. Once I saw we outspell, I was like, oh, we got in the bag. We got in the bag. I'm surprised he didn't just like keep on swapping, keep on doing his thing there. Surprised with that. I definitely am surprised with that. But I thought he would just keep swapping his intimidates and kind of just boiling me down. That's what I would have done. I would have definitely done that with Landorus and, and Incineroar. Like once he brought in his Incineroar, I would have hard swapped right into my, uh, would have hard swapped instantly into my, what's it called? My landers get another Intimidate, and then Incineroar could have came in the back and Intimidate again. Just rolled out from there. But I think he, he was relying on the... What's it called? He was definitely relying on the... On the EQ to take me out. That was his little hope there. He sets up a Reflect. I'm cool with that. Fake Out's not going to roll. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Can Glissapod outspeed him? Glissapod can outspeed an Incineroar. We can get off some big damage before he parting shots out. Behemoth Blade's going to do big damage here. Take it out, maybe? Oh, so close through the screens. So close through the screens. He's going to go straight into a parting shot. Onto who? My glitch spot. That's fine. We do have emergency exit. We do indeed have emergency exit. And I can just Aqua Jet and take out that Grimstar on next turn. I'm with that. So we're going to go into a big old liquidation here. Who's he going to go into to eat up this liquidation? Sideguard. That ain't too bad. Not too shabby. I'm surprised he didn't hard swap into uh, or a parting shot in his ass. Here. Liquidation comes out here. Does a little bit of damage. I think it's bulky. I think it's ridiculously bulky. We're going to Aqua Jet and we're just going to probably this, right? What would be better? Do we think he's going to Dynamax? He could. He could and maybe Scary Face me down. He Dynamaxes, but he must play might be our better option. Wait, you know what? I'm just going to go straight into this. It's not. So Light gets set up here. I'm fine with that. I'm going to hit this thing with a nice little uh, play rough. Do a decent amount of damage. We are minus one. He's going to bring back out Incineroar, so we might want to hard swap next to him. We're waiting just the emergency exit. We have our boy with emergency exit. The so Glissapod gets on the board. Big old play rough comes through here, and Power Construct is going to fly. And Weakness Pod is going to block. So, I think we're both dead here, right? He's going for 1,000 arrows. He's going to coil. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Power Construct comes out here. This thing's going to get a huge buff in HP. It's going to double its HP stat. And this thing is Weakness Policy Proc, Coil Setup. So he has uh, plus one defense, plus one accuracy. And is it speed? I think it gives it a speed. Right? No, it gives it attack. So it's plus three attack. It's plus three attack, plus one defense, and plus one accuracy. Uh, we do have a special attacker to kind of get in the back end with him. So I'm with my special attackers. I do have my special attackers, which I really like. So now comes Incineroar. Uh, what's our play here? Predation? Or do we Aqua Jet? I guess we'll go for that. We'll try to go for this. I could hard swap Zassian. Playoff comes out. No way. No way we missed that. 
No shot we missed that play rough. We really just missed our play rough. I can't believe it. That had a chance taking him out. I, get, I understand we're minus two. Actually, it probably wouldn't have taken him out, but still. It could have been some nice damage. That could have been some lovely damage there. Flare Butt's going to fly. We could soak that up, right? You soak it up. That's beautiful. We'd love to see that. That thing shows... Oh, I thought it was like one. Recall's going to come out here. And my emergency exit. I wanted my move to come out there. I should Aqua Jet it. Um, who do I bring out? I mean, obviously, I'm going to bring out two Pokemon. He did both of his moves. Uh, Intimidate's not, definitely going to come out here. We'll put him on the left side. Even though size don't really matter. We'll swap in these two. We'll get a double Intimidate rocking. And we're going to Dynamax Shibalta. Or do we just poke in with our boy? Or do we go? No, we're going to we're gonna save our Glissapod for first turn priority late in the game. It could definitely be better for us. So we'll go into you. And we're going we're gonna to set the Dynamax. Obviously, we're going to set the Dynamax. Then we can go into free EQs. We're going to take speed here, too. Speed could be lovely. Speed could indeed be lovely. It does have the Thousand Arrows, which... <laughs> that's whack. He has Thousand Arrows, which could do me dirty. But yeah, EQ is definitely gonna fly, and we just airstream over onto you. Good airstream. I think Max Darkness would be a little bit better. Drop special defense. Zygarde is deadly. I think he might Dynamax Zygarde here. No way he does. He's just gonna sit here and go for a thousand arrows all day, and then he might parting shot with the Incineroar. Could definitely see that happening. We we'll definitely see that happening. He withdraws Incineroar. He hard swaps Incineroar, and who's he going to go into from here? Confi's going to come out here. So Confi gets flying here. He might protect that Zygarde. Or he's going to Dynamax. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But the one thing we got to hope for, which I didn't realize until I clicked the move, is that we need our Landorus to 100% outspeed this Zygarde. We need him to outspeed, because if not, he's going to hit us with a thousand arrows, and my EQ is going to hit my Yvelta this well. Could, could could do us dirty. We could do, be doing ourselves dirty here, but I think we should be fine here. He died. Okay, so he Dynamax. Dynamax is coming out. The Dynamax. Dynamax. Yeah, yeah. My boy is Dynamax in his Zygarde. And finally he does it. Wow, he finally does it. That's actually a good call. He waited that long. I thought for sure he had a he had his uh what was his other restricted mod? Zygarde and some other big big guy. Some other big guy. I forget who it was. But I thought he, was, he would have that in the back end. But oh my god. Oh no, he's on one. He got a free focus, Ash. We got a crit and he gets a free focus, Ash. But EQ is going to come out here. We're thriving. Unless he takes out my uh, Lando here. Unless he takes out Lando. We're thriving. EQ comes out here. That should be GG. So that's just one of this game, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Your boy Jeans on a heater. We're at 885. I'm going up from here. Can this put us in top 500? It's going to be putting us close. For sure, it's going to be putting us close. This thing has the uh, leftovers. I think he cancels the battle from here, right? He definitely cancels the battle. He just has Incineroar and Confi left, right? He just wasted his Dynamax. He just wasted the, the, the Dynamax. That is G to the Gs. G to the Gs. Bum, 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 bum. Ba doom. Bam, bam, ba doom. Bam, bam, ba da, 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 My White Herb cancels out that Intimidate. I love it. I love it. That's huge. That's huge, and we'll obviously just throw EQs, and we will go into... Can we go into Darkness Drop Special Defense? Nah, Airstream's a better call. Well, out here, cancel battle, dude. Just cancel it. You do not cancel. This dude's crazy. This dude's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. He wants to whoop him. We still have my boy Galissapod in the back end, which we love. Airstream's gonna come out here. Big old damage, but yo, I can't believe we critted. That's a big-time crit. That was a big-time crit from Yveltal. Good old Life Orb Yveltal. I'm loving him. I'm loving him, and I love the other moveset on him. And I thought that was my favorite one. This one might be my favorite one. He triggers. He's going for gold here. He's going for gold. He's going for gold all day. Going for gold all day. I'm only worried about the Incineroar. Confi ain't doing nothing. He's just going to ally switch here. We already know that's happening. So we're just going to EQ. It's over. <laughs> we won. <laughs> we 100% won. I don't mind going into the airstream over here. We won. Let's see what he does. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about Floral Healing. I thought he was going to ally switch. Son of a biscuit. EQ should be able to take him out. I do not see him taking out my landers, right? Flare Boots. I, you're not taking me out. Yeah, cool. I think he was looking for that crit. Recoil damage comes through here. EQ is going to fly through, and that's GG's. That's bye-bye Incineroar all day. Confi's going to take a nice little chunk of damage. Incineroar goes down, and we're just going to take this thing out with Airstream. 
we love it we just guarantee ourselves a perfect we're well, not perfect record a winning record now we can hop into a third battle look for a perfect record. we are playing so insanely good i love it i love it hopefully you guys are enjoying hopefully you guys are enjoying we're sitting at 672 on the rank ladder going up against this guy was 490 480 something around there but this could put us in top 500. This match right here can put your boy in top 500. Hopefully we can get after it. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. We can roll roll strong. We can definitely roll strong if we can. But uh, this guy's got Wimscott. He's got the Kai Ogre and uh, Dialga combo. So we can trick room with that. He can, uh, he can not trick room. He can kind of just go in with uh, Kai Ogre and the Wimscott. Do a lot of work from there. He also has the landers for Intimidate. The Rillaboom over there, which is a great Pokemon with the Grassy Glide and the Fake Outs. Then last but not least, he's rocking the Surge Control with that Tapu Lele. And if I had to guess... Probably Tree Scarf. Probably Tree Scarf. But how should we do this? How should we go into this? I feel like Grim Snarl, Grim Snarl Black could definitely be good here. With the scary faces, all that good stuff could definitely do us in good. So I'm going to lead the Grim Snarl. We do have special defense drops here as well. I do dig it. I do dig it. Uh, so I'm going to lead Grim Snarl. I'm going to lead Grim Snarl. And do we go Yavelta as a lead? Maybe just go for a special defense boost and then go into Airstream or special defense drop and then Airstream? That is looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. Uh... Zassian, obviously. We can't hop into battle without Zassian. And then last but not least, I'm leaning more towards Landorus or Regilecki. Obviously, Glissapod's probably the worst on this team. But I'm thinking I'm going to go into... I think I'm going to go into Lando here. I just think Lando, we got a bit more work done with him. Like, Regilecki's good, obviously, up against the uh, Kyogre. But if he is rocking the Rillaboom, Rillaboom can just grass guide into us and trigger Sash instantly. But that's really all that Regilecki was there for. We're good for was the Kyogre Landers. I, I feel like we we had a little bit more value with the Landers. Plus we have the Grim Strong for speed control with scary faces. So that's my call. That is my call. It's gonna go into Kyogre and Wimsky, and I'm cool with that. I can special defense drop here. Or I could scary face. What do I want to do here? I could change up. I could instantly change up weather. I think I'm gonna iron. I think I'm gonna do trick onto the uh, Kyogre. Take his item. Then I might just change up weather. It'd be your play. It'd definitely be your play. Trick, take whatever you got. And then Dynamax. Do I change up weather or just go for airstreams? That's our play. I think I'm just gonna go for airstreams. I do not see Kyogre protecting. I do not see Kyogre protecting. I feel like he's like sitting here thinking, like, okay, maybe I can fake out. Maybe I'm gonna set up a screen. But I think he's just like, okay, I can tailwind freely. And go into a water spout. So if that's the call, if this thing doesn't protect, we could be sitting really, really good. Okay, withdrawals. That's fine by me too. Let's see what goes into. We're gonna be taking this thing's item and it's gonna be Lele. We're gonna take Lele's item. Hopefully it's not rocking a uh, waste scarf. I don't. I hope it's not. Cause then we're gonna have to trick and take away someone else's item. Waste another turn that way. Oh, but that takes away a prankster. That surge takes away a prankster. Okay. So we don't even get an item. We're just giving that thing an iron ball. Okay, so it was seeded. Okay, I was going to airstream into the Wimscott. Definitely would have been better now that I know he swapped. But we'll see. You're about to get to Dynamax. Good thing we didn't change up weather. That would have been awful. I'm just hard swap Kyogre. Dang, dude. I really want the trick. I really want the trick. But we will be giving Lele the Iron Ball, which is nice. And I wonder what Whimsy's going for. Whimsy's Tailwinding. So Whimsy's Tailwinding. We are going to be able to get off some nice damage onto the, uh, onto the Lele here. Trick's going to do nothing because, you know, connected by Psychic Terrain. And we'll get this airstream boost here. So airstream flies out here. How much damage we do? Not bad. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. And I'm kind of scared that the lead they can outspeed. So I can't go into the scary face due to the terrain. We're just going to have to go straight into a foul play. I could take off Sash. I think I'm going to do I'm going to take off Sash, and I think I'm just going to go for another airstream. Right? Yeah. Correct. Correct. Please do not outspeed me. I'm a plus one Yavelta. I get you have Tailwind, but I'm a plus one Yavelta. I think Lele does outspeed me. Lele's similar speeds to Yavelta. So I think he does outspeed me. But I can take off Sash on the Windscott if, if I had to guess his Rocket Sash. He goes for Gleam. Okay, we can still up the Gleam. Cool with that. He goes for Gleam. I'm, I'm actually really cool with that. We're going to go for Airstream. We're going to take a little bit more speed here. We're going to take out the Lele here as well. The Lele, get on out, my game. Lele's gone. We're going to uh, take off the Sash on the Windscott because it, it has to have the Sash. No doubt in my mind. And then uh, we could swap Grimstone. This could be a good time to swap Grimstone just so we can waste out the terrain and use Grimstone for back end support. Could be good. Foul play pokes here. And what does Wimscott do? Where did Wimscott already go? What did Wimscott do? No, Wimscott's going out with a. Whoa. 
sets up the trick room after the tailing. I don't mind it. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it too much. Who's he going into from here? I think Kyogre might be slower than us now. Hmm. I still have the oh, I still have the Iron Ball. My uh, Grimstar. That's good. He goes into Diago. He's gonna Dynamax this Pokemon. 100 percent. Hundo percent though. Dynamax this him. Um. So I'm just gonna you know foul play again. Probably go into work. I could, this could be the turn to swap. Do we really need Grimstar? No, we has a Kyogre in the back end. Kyogre's scary. Uh, yeah, well, I think we do need Grimstar. So now would be the turn to swap. I'm gonna swap you. But I could see him going into a steel move. Boosting that defense. And then I could, if I wanted to, change up weather. Or I could just lower special defense. My play. Tough call for us. Definitely tough call for us. I'm gonna drop special defense. I'm gonna leave the Whimscott in. Obviously, I could take out the Whimscott with an airstream. I could definitely do that, but I, I just think leaving the Whimscott in here and not allowing D Alga and Kai Uber to come out here at the same time is our play. We're gonna hard swap Grimstar. We're gonna save Grimstar for when the terrain ends. It could definitely come up clutch. Tricking a Pokemon, slowing it down with scary face, dropping special defense. We could just do a lot. We can just do a lot there. And he's gonna go into the Dynamax on the Dialga, which we saw all day because, you know, he set up the trick room. He was ready to rock. It's a good battle. It's a great battle. It's a great battle to end the video. Great battle to end the video. Lots of swaps. Lots of good plays from him and me. We're, we already grabbed ourselves a winning record, so I'm chilling if we lose this battle. I'm chilling if we lose this battle, but I would love to win it for you guys. I would definitely love to win it for you guys. We've been on an absolute tear. He goes for the Seal Spike. We saw that coming. Oh, and he goes into you. He goes into you. Okay. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. He's going to get that defense boost. And do we at least get off one more turn? We're going to go. Please let us go before we move by me. He's gonna do that. I wonder if he's gonna move. If he's gonna move us in. That's some great damage. We love that damage. We love that damage right there. We love that damage. Special defense drop comes out here. That's some great damage. That's some beautiful damage. And is he going for the moon blast here? He's going for the moon blast, but into the Grimstraw slot, which is now Zacian. Zacian says, "Hey, yo, that's a really tasty." Okay. I see. I understand. Um. My player. What is my play? I think at oh, this is tough. I think at this time we can just Emith Blade here. Because I'm trying to think of the speed. So obviously uh Wimscott goes last. Actually Zassia might come last. I kinda wanna read this Max Quake. You might think I'm gonna protect. I'm, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna dark pulse for the KO. I was gonna hard swap the Lando and read the Max Quake. Maybe he thinks I'm protecting. Oh, we outspeed. I'm with it. The Tailwind's definitely screwing him over. We outspeed. We love it. Okay, I'm with that all day. With that all day. So we take you out. Maybe he thinks I'm protecting, but maybe, just maybe. Or hopefully he goes into Zacian now. He goes into Steel Spike, yeah. He wants that Steel Spike all day. And he still goes into Zacian. We love it. Okay, cool. Good thing we didn't protect. Good thing we didn't protect. That put us in such a good position. That put us in such a good position. Such a good position. Because this should be able to take him out. He's minus one. He's minus one on special defense. Dark Pulse comes through here. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We love it. We love it. That's a huge KO. And my Yveltus survives on four. There are Tailwind Peters out. There should be one more turn left in trip. And if that's the case, we're going to go right... Ooh. What do I want to go into? I really don't want to go in the lane. Waste out Trick Room. I don't waste out Trick Room. This is tough. This is tough because I, I need this terrain off. Maybe I should have went to Lando. Just have him die. I probably should have went to Lando and just protect it. Ouch. Terrain end. Something end. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, let's see. Trick Room has two turns. It's doing me so dirty. That is doing me so dirty. I gotta land a double protect, right? We, I think we're gonna lose this one. We have to land a double protect. It's our only way out. That play comes out before, and that's great. Good thing we still have this Iron Ball. Iron Ball definitely helping us out. Or your pulse, dodge it. Dodge it, Grimstar. Dodge it. Slow action move. Dodge it. 
Dang it, yo. We're definitely dead to that. So we're dead to that all day. If you somehow eat this up, I'll love you forever, but... Shot. Okay, so now Trick Room has one more turn. I think we have to land a double protect, right? Unless Lando might be slower. Terrain does stop. Ooh, baby. Terrain's gone, but terrain doesn't matter anymore. That's why I think we should have brought out Orlando. Let me see your speed. Shrikram has one more turn. You might be slower. That's close. That's real close. That's real close. We definitely have to protect the uh, Yveltal. We definitely have to go for double protect. We definitely have to go for double protect on Yveltal. I'm going for it all day. I'm going for it all day. And you know what? I could go for the fly. Hmm. Ah, oh, what's my play? Let's go for the EQ. Send it. Dark Pulse could... Uh, we, have to, we have to go for double protect. This is so tough. Lots of thoughts going on here. Come on, land it. Land double protect for the jeans community, baby. This game hates me. <laughs> we fail. EQ does come out here. We do outspeed in Trick Room. Which is wonderful. How much damage are we going to do here? KO him. KO him. We're going to lose. This thing outspeeds me next turn. Ah! Don't kill me. Leave me alone. <laughs> no. No, no, no. This would have been prime time for a sucker punch on Yvelta. Would have been prime time for one. But there it is, yo. 2 1 for today's video. What a third and final battle. What a set of battles for today's video. We ended up losing that last one and dropping a little bit in the ranks, but hey, yo, it's all good. We pushed top 1,000 in today's video, which is absolutely amazing. But guys, there it is. There's this amazing team, Zassian, and this Life Orb of Yvelta was absolutely amazing. I'm actually surprised at how good that Yvelta actually did. Life Orb, we Dynamaxed him, I think, in all three battles, and we rolled out really, really strong. Grim Snarl was definitely really good, too, but that Psychic Terrain definitely did him dirty in battle number three. There was no Psychic Terrain. If he didn't bring the Lele, I think we would win that battle. We could have just did so much there and just controlled the battle a lot. And then Glisspod, we got him in one battle, and he did pretty solid. He did pretty solid. He did well. He did well for his squad. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.